That went on for way too long. I... I was not paying attention to my time. I was like, it's been a while since I've, you know, stopped being recording. I looked at the time, I was like, whoa, it looks a little bit out of place, so... Everything's A-OK -okay now. Um, so another thing. Uh, remember how I said I will be doing an exclusive unit run, so I can't use certain units like Null and Dusul for Rika's route? I did make one exception. I was debating on, like, not having uh, Ephraim or Arika fight in the opposing routes. Like, for example, I won't use Ephraim in Arika's route and Arika in Ephraim's route and so forth. Uh, but I actually decided, you know what, I think I will allow myself to do so. Not because I don't think I can do it without them. I mean, I can easily do it without Arika, but... They are the main lords of the game. You pretty much bring them in almost every fight, so... Or you don't have to... You always bring your main lord. So in that case, technically, in Erika's route, I don't have to use Ephraim because he won't be in every route, but... He's, he's one of the main characters of the Twin Lords, so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt here, and I'm just going to be using him anyway. My my time is running low on battery. I better fix that. Oh wait, Ross can walk on water. Let's do that. Oh, okay, you stupid-ass fighter. Why'd you move there? <laughs> you deserve to die. Alright, come on, where is it? Where is my charger at? This guy gonna get the same fate? Nope. Yeah, he does. Okay, sweet. Awesome. That makes me one happy pop up. Because I am King Fardo. Alright, so we've got a le weapon level increase for Eureka, which is nice. <laughs> uh, killer Lance. I'm so glad Ephraim came with a Killer Lance, but then again, now I'm thinking, I think it's because. Excuse me. I think it is because I. He was holding those items that he came with them. I think that's how it works. Also, I'm glad you did that. This gives Garcia more experience. I guess Garcia is freaking one of the units I want to get leveled up first, as he can be quite annoying to level up. Ross is walking on the lake. It's like an oasis right there. Which is kind of nice. Like, they have a castle by the oasis. Imagine the imagine the view from there, guys. Looks like a, like a nice desert area, and right next to it's a pool of water. Well, that's going on. Fighting's going around, and there's blood dropping everywhere, so... <laughs> wow, I can't do anything. Oh shit, can I not kill you? Yeah, sure I can. Easy. Crit. Damn it, this is gonna put her at risk. Woo! Vanessa with the dodging. Which is what I love to see. Love to see that. Thank you, Vanessa. Alright, so now I need to get. Who am I gonna get the kill with over here? Should I give it with. I'll get it with Amelia. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get it with Amelia, because. Why not? Why not, right? Why not? Completely nothing wrong with that idea. These guys suck. Thank you. Um, Renek needs to head over to the left, I think. Actually, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna send Renek... So, planning out here. Okay, I'm gonna send Renek down and around, maybe. Should I? But that's more of a trek. I don't like treks. Especially if that freaking... I don't trust this Peg Knight to go for Garcia. He's probably gonna go for Renak. If she does, then it's her fault. Damn it, she can't make it all the way, damn. Well, actually, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if she goes for Ewan, so let's do that. Put Ewan in range. Whoa! What the hell? Um, hmm. Alright, let's get Arika over to her brother. We're gonna have Ephraim just chill on this... 
perfectly placed forest tile with a Regan leaf. We're just gonna have Dusu guard this area with his axe of justice and have no try find an item, but he's got zero luck, so he's just got no chance at finding an item. <laughs> I like it how some units have zero luck. It's like they're the most unluckiest character in the world. <laughs> no luck. Yeah, I thought so. Whew. Yeah, that's right. You fall to Ewan's critical hit. And he's down. Awesome. Now watch, Ross was way too slow to get him. There's no chance of me getting that kill. Come on, Ephraim. You're one of my favorite units for a reason. Why don't you show it? There you go. Yeah, that, guy, that guy can't reach me. Well. Oh. Look at that. Well, like I said, the reinforcements are done. Alright, so we'll head back, I guess. Dun dun. Um, hmm. I'm thinking of what I could possibly do. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. So, Renak, you're gonna go all the way to the left here. Um, where's the item? Oh, it's the very edge of the map. Damn. Whatever. Alright, fine. We're gonna have you in a dance, and we're gonna put you in in front of it so we can kill two birds with one stone. I want Natasha to get as close to the thing as possible, as well as have you in just get healed immediately. Now, yeah. how well does Josh do against Kalik without Natasha's support? Is it a good chance? It's got a crit chance. I don't want a crit chance. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? You have 13 defense. You should honestly be fine. Yeah, 20. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're, you're so good. I'll just keep Amelia like that. I, I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. Uh, as for everyone else... Hurry up and get them over. Um, let's one shot him. Farewell. Hehe. <sighs> Alright. And I think we're good. Yep. Look at that. Whoa! Ha! Yeah. It'll level up for Ephraim. We got that pretty quickly. And... <sighs> this is why Ephraim's a good unit. Four stats. Whew. Love to see that. You're a stepping stone and I'm moving up. Don't take it personally. Whoa! You can't double her with a... Okay, good. <laughs> I say, you can't double her with a steel. That would have been... been embarrassing. Whoa. Ephraim, you're a beast. All right, who's next? Um, all right. So, what we're gonna do? We're gonna move Natasha in range. Actually, we're gonna change that. So, for, uh, can Franz can step out. I'm gonna give Amelia a heal. And I realize I screwed this up because now <laughs> Amelia's—I mean, not Amelia. Now Natasha's not in range of you know who. Ooh, three stats. Oh, five stats! What the frick? That was an amazing level up! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! Nicely done! Alright. Now I realize I don't have the item I want. Oops. Um, should I get her to come here? Oh, she's all the way down there. God damn it! Um, don't know what to do. Ah. Uh, what do you do with a steel sword as opposed to an iron? Eight! It's a better chance. What's the difference between uh, Tom and Silver? 
Two, di two attack difference. Nine, tw yeah, okay, you'll be fine. If you get hit both times, which I really don't want to happen. Anyway, so this is why I wanted Joshua to fight Kalik. Kalik. Hey, if it isn't Joshua. It's been a long time. How have you been? Oh, well, I said it differently, but I don't care. It's, it's been all, it's been all right. I still work, I'm still working as a mercenary. When'd you get all proper and join the Grotto Army? Didn't I tell you? I wasn't about to waste my life as a nameless soldier. Still, I think back to those days a lot lately. My axe and your sword. The two of us make a deadly pair, eh? Dots. By the way, I know a little about you, Joshua. Who you really are, I mean. The Prince of Jahana, huh? When did you plan on sharing the wealth, you sneaky dog? Listen. You can't reduce a nation uh, you can't reduce a nation to loot waiting to be divided. And more importantly, I've made a vow to my mother. I'm going to succeed her as the ruler of my homeland. Hey, Kalik. You're the one who killed my mother, aren't you? Yeah, sorry about that. Things happen, you know. Come on, Joshua, don't hate me. This is war. Any eh, there's nothing you can do about it. Besides, grudges get in the way of work, right? That's true. It's as you say. Listen, Kalik. I've got to kill you now. Don't hold it against me. You arrogant. You haven't changed a bit. I've always wanted to show you who's better, Joshua. And I'm even stronger than I used to be. I'm gonna wipe that smug look off your f face for good. So yes, Kalik and Joshua actually have a history with each other, both being part of probably the same mercenary guild back in the day. Uh, but now here they are again. One fighting for Grotto, and the other, the Prince of Jahanov, duking it out. Who would have seen that coming? That being said, how well can you do against him? <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, Alright, I guess I'll get you in to go else places. Uh, hey. I'm glad you in can... Uh, move really well in the sand. I'm really glad that a bunch, uh, like all magic units, have this cool passive just to walk through sand with ease. Like I'm, I'm trying to imagine they're just like hovering over the dirt and just making it just fly away and easily walk through it. The abilities to walk on sand. Well, I mean, let me rephrase that. The abilities to easily walk on sand. Anyway, if you walk onto, I believe. Uh, one, two, three, four, any of these four squares here, uh, you get a silent staff. So, yeah. Um, still nothing happening here, which is kind of concerning. Really want to see some action right now, but whatever. I'm gonna have Cormag go to the left, I think. Yeah, let's have Cormag go to the left. These two should be fine. Should be fine. Oh. That will show you why in a second, or the game will show you why in a second. Um, Noel's not going to do anything. Can Deuce will be lucky enough to find something here? Ah, oh. Deuce has a chance at finding something, but not the greatest chance. Whoa! Ha! Ha! Now let's see what Kalik does. I'm interested at what he does because I want him. I want. Yeah, I knew that would happen. Whoop. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, okay, so these were the units I was waiting for, and... Holy moly, I'm glad I'm bringing you two over here. Uh, France. No. Nope, no, 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 nope. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, Franz can attack him. Yeah, alright, so we're going to have Franz attack him, and then we're going to get, uh, give Tethys a, oh, not give Tethys. We're give Franz a dance, and then have Tethys run back. Ouch. That was a lot of damage, dude. Not very nice. Dum, 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 dum. Perfect. This puts Natasha in perfect range for Joshua to move to the right. 
because I want him to get out the way, and I, I want Ewan to get a little jab on um, uh, Kalik here. Need to be ready. Man. Does the Silver Axe and the Tomahawk have the same accuracy, or is one less accurate than the other? I'm pretty sure the Silver Axe has much more accuracy. And that was a 3 out of 5? Pretty good. I like how Tethys is defensive. Well, I guess, like I said, that's the only thing she'll ever get. Uh, steel. Yeah, nothing wrong with this move. Huh? Yeah. Ow. Huh? Alright, how does Amelia do? Oh wait, I need to get Franz over first before I do that. Uh, Amelia does one damage. Shit. Um... Oh, can't do anything about that. I'm gonna go again with this stupid thing. Um... Alright, you can get rid of him, right? Yeah, with ease! But he's gonna get a lot of damage in return. Um, can I not take a lot of damage? Can I kill you in one burst? No. But you have more defense than Ewan, so I think Arika has a better chance here. Huh, <sighs> that being said, alright, first let me just do this. This is, this is ridiculous. Get, get out of my face. <laughs> get out of my face by me cutting your face. That's why these guys are here. Their job is just to stop these boys. The ones who defeated the Rouston army from the north. I think that's how it goes. Not completely sure, but I believe it's how it goes. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, yeah, I think I'm accurate on that one. I'll give the next kill to Vanessa. I need to get up here with Renak. Ha. Huh. How am I gonna do this, eh? Hand axe, of course you have a hand axe. Rape your kill! Ugh. Oh, come on, that's not what I wanted. Whatever. Take it. Dun 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 dun. Alright, the mage can't get me if I'm all the way up there. The mercenary uh, and cavalier can. But that's alright. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're gonna get this. Take take one vulnerary out and use it. And then next turn I'll have them talk. Um, Ewan can just chill behind them. Jerusalem's gonna keep walking around. Noel's gonna do the same. Ugh. Ow! Can you double attack this guy? Nope. Oh, that means the other guy can't get to you, can he? Oh no, yeah he can. Easily. Don't like how he can, but he can. There we go. Oh, the mage moves. Didn't know that. Oh, he's going for Josh. Trying to get the jump on him. Actually, I thank you for going for Joshua, because now I'm, I am in prone killing position right now. But I guess Josh is also in prone death position. Oh, I didn't know the Cavali uh, the Paladin would move at me. I mean, I'm not pretty sure he would, but didn't expect him to move this far in front. And I can't kill him. That's a shame. And also a scare. I can, however whittle them down a bit, and then get Cormag to kill. That's probably what I'm going to do. Yep. Yeah, why not? What's there to lose, right? Especially if you have Ephraim who's just dodging him like a genius. Look at that, level up. And... Oh, four stats again! That's two for two for four stat level ups. Alright, um, I guess uh, before I finish this turn, I'll get to the next part. So, we'll just finish this turn up by cutting up your face. And then we're gonna cut up this guy's head off. 
I feel like Arika's route is a lot more quicker than Ephraim's because in Ephraim's route you actually start at the bottom left, as you saw where he spawned. In Arika's route you start up here obviously, but in Arika's route you can easily get to Kalik and then work your way down this way. With Ephraim you kind of have to like go up and then down and around. Or in Arika you can just do a nice circle. It's a small, small thing, but there is a difference. Um, really would like to like kill you and then run off. Oh shit, I've just noticed you are in peril, Joshua. But, if I do this, uh, uh, ha ha! Success! Anyway, <laughs> alright, um, I should actually talk about Kalik before I kill him. So, Kalik, an ambig uh, ambitious general in Grado's army, is known as the Tiger Eye. I guess I'll finish this and then I'll go to the next part. Uh, his class is a hero, which is a well, which are seasoned veterans with remarkable skill, and they are the promoted unit of both fighters or mer uh, mercenaries. So fighters and mercenaries, and because of that, they can wield both swords and axes. He's an S rank and uh, shit. Um, stats wise, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, he's probably a, a Garrick promoted, I think. Um, but he can be a little bit scary, but with your units it shouldn't be too bad. But the unique thing with uh, Kalik is that he's actually holding an item called the Hoplon Guard. The Hoplon Guard is, as you can read, a device that negates enemy critical hits, which is why none of my attacks have any critical hit percentages when they obviously should. That being said, farewell. <laughs> Blast! A bit more and a crown could have been mine! Ugh! I'm gonna miss doing that voice. I love doing Kalik's voice. But now he's dead. Alright, so off to the next part I go. Oh wait, I found the warp staff as well. Oh Jesus, before I end the video. Warp staff. Uh get rid of that, I guess. Alright, be right back.